Hi. Since a lot of independent distribution companies out there are family businesses, and by family business, I mean, you know, it's populated with second, even third or fourth generation family members. And um, as opposed to, you know, the founder is still running it and, you know, may have a few kids there, but he hasn't really figured out, he or she hasn't figured out how to pass it on to the kids yet. Uh, but once it's been passed on, the state planning has been figured out and it's moved on to the next generation in a legal stock owning kind of situation, um, that can undermine everything about a high performance culture. So if the family that's running the business has suboptimally confused who's in the family, and just because you're in the family, that means you get to own stock, or because you're in the family, it gets to mean you're a manager, whether you're really competent, motivated or not, and qualified. Um, if these things get bollocked up, we have a problem. So back to my, my five factors, if we're looking at authentic leaders who have, you know, integrity and, you know, high motivation and so forth, um, and they, they may be from the family. That would be wonderful. I mean, every, there are one in 10,000 corporations that start off, you know, can get to the fourth generation and still be high performance run companies and a, from a family viewpoint. So it does happen. Um, but along the way, most family businesses find ways to sort of get bogged down and have issues and problems. So we might as well get those out on the table and say, fine, if that has become, uh, you know, a key problem uh, that overhangs or, or, or under, undermines our culture, uh, how do we figure out how to retune uh, these things and move towards, uh, you know, uh, outside, you know, promote from within professional leadership uh, that can create a culture that allows us to move towards 1010. We may not be able to get there because the compromises would be too great given the structure of what's going on. Uh, but if we can go from 5.5 five to 8.8, eight, that would certainly be better uh, than staying where we are. But we do have to ask the thing, who is going to be the, the CEO and then who are going to be the management team whether they're from promoter from in, an outsider, or, you know, maybe from the family, who is going to be able to literally walk the talk and be an authentic leader and make this happen. Um, so, you know, we might as well get the elephant in the room, you know, introduce them to everybody and say, here's what's going on. How can we, you know, strike a balance and, and at least move the culture uh, towards the 1010 zone, if not all the way? So that's a, a, a specific uh, topic that, that different families are going to have to have. All right, we'll move to the next slide. Thank you.